This is Heartland News. There's no way to know what could happen to you, but this could have happened to anybody. He spent years sharing his faith and battling his own demons, but using bath salts left a local man flailing on the floor of a convenience store, and less than an hour later, it killed him. We've well, seen the use of synthetic drugs cause people to do crazy, dangerous, and even deadly things across the country. That frightening level of reaction is happening here, and tonight we've got the proof. Kathy has the exclusive details in a Heartland News special report. Jeff, synthetic drugs can kill you. Just ask the family and friends of 40-year-old Charles Riles. The Poplar Bluff man died back on July 5th, less than an hour after a convenience store surveillance cameras captured him in the middle of a disturbing and violent high caused by bath salts his sister says he bought right there in his hometown. All right, there he comes in at about four seconds before 10 tell. The final moments of Charles Ryle's life are captured in stilted shots of panic and pain. And you can see that he falls on the ground, throws the mop bucket. At this point, he's telling everybody, help me, they're after me. The 40-year-old, high on bath salts, appears to battle his imaginary attackers as stunned convenience store shoppers and workers look on. This is how I want people to remember my brother. Ryle's little sister, Christine Boone, holds a recent photo of her brother. His clean-cut appearance makes you think casual professional, not crazed drug user. Family friend Arnold Jones remembers the buddy he knew as Chuck Boone. There was a lot of times that I didn't want to be at home, and I stayed at their house. He was just always there to be able to talk to. Mark Panagas knew Charles as the man who overcame his own struggles to take this well-worn Bible into the Butler County Jail to minister inmates. I knew the man that, that served God and that loved God with all his heart. And, uh, and, and he, he made a difference in so many men's lives. Boone believes in the last few years, though, her brother internalized the pain of losing both their mother and their grandmother. And found out after the fact that he had started pulling away from the support systems of the, the church and his ministries. On July 5th, Charles Ryle shows up at the convenience store. Patrolman Jamie Sample gets the call and finds Riles in the parking lot. When we went to put him in the car, naturally he, he was fighting and kicking. Patrolman Jim Gerber followed Sample squad car and says he could see Riles become suddenly violent in the back seat. He flopped over and all I could see was his feet kicking the back window, kicking the side windows, uh, kicking the screen. And he would just go round and round in the car. The officers pulled over and say they got Riles back in his seat. When they say he became violent again, they pulled over a second time. And just as I leaned in, it's when he delivered a kick. Flailing, kicking, trying to bite the officers, growling, snapping, chomping his teeth. But then a sudden shocking end. He just quit. I mean, it went from, from biting and snapping and trying to bite us to no movement whatsoever. Medical personnel pronounced Charles Riles dead at the hospital. Back in September, Coroner Akers shared with me Riles' surprising cause of death. And that's ultimately what took his life was the excited delirium syndrome complicated by the use of bath salts. What was your first reaction when you heard those words, excited delirium syndrome? Uh, I had to research it. The term excited delirium syndrome actually dates back to the 1850s. It was used to describe a fatal form of delirium in the mentally ill with symptoms such as disorientation, hallucinations, and violent behavior. Now, coming up tonight at 10, you'll hear from our region's expert on the syndrome. He will explain how it ultimately took Charles Ryle's life and what emergency responders in our region need to know when they encounter someone in Ryle's state. Bob's got your forecast next.